Hello and welcome to Jessie Bear Book Club. Today we're doing something a little bit different and we are making a perfect Persian cocktail. I got this recipe from a BBC history magazine from that enormous haul I had a little while ago. I've been saving all the recipes because I want to do some historical cooking. I'm a big fan of tasting history and this cocktail was originally made by Moorish physicians as a cure for stomach problems. So it doesn't normally contain alcohol, but I added a healthy glug of alcohol because it was Friday and why the hell not? So what follows is me making it and at the end you will get to see how it tastes. So here is your lovely list of ingredients, cucumber, mint, white wine vinegar, sugar and water. And then you combine the mint, the sugar, the water and the white wine vinegar in a pot and you boil it until all the sugar dissolves, which doesn't take that long. But you know, you have to keep stirring it because I really didn't want the mint to burn or go sour or anything. And then you have to let it cool for ages and it kind of looks like urine. And it's kind of warm, which is kind of gross. And then I chopped up all my cucumber, which took quite a while because I tried to scare my cat with it. My cat was not amused. I sprinkled it with sugar, mainly because I didn't have enough sugar when I was making the original simple syrup. So I added it here instead. Also, I thought it looked kind of cute, you know, like people sugar fruit. And then I combine it all in a big jug. As you can see here, you've got your ice and your cucumber. And I just kind of put it all on top of each other because I thought it looked nice. And you have to pour this mixture over ice to dilute it. I also added a healthy glug of peach snaps because I thought peach and cucumber go together. I'm pretty sure I've seen that in a few recipes. Don't know where, but I'm sure I've seen it. So combined that, and then I added the mixture, which I'd been cooling in the fridge for a couple of days. You can see it going in. I thought, I don't know why, I thought it was going to change colour or something, or it would still be kind of yellowy like it was when it was cooling, but it wasn't. I added both, and when I poured it and I had it, I originally got the big hit of vinegar, but once the ice had diluted a bit more, I really got a nice refreshing thing. So make sure you give it a good mix, because I didn't before I had my first drink, which is a rookie mistake, I should have known better. And you are left with this really lovely, refreshing drink, which I would recommend. Definitely. And it looks super cute, too. So, I hope you enjoyed watching me make my delicious cocktail. You know what it tasted like? This is the only way I can describe it. It tasted like healthy spa water. You know, like if you go to a fancy spa or a fancy hotel and they have like cucumber water or water with like lemon in it and cucumber, it kind of tasted like that. It wasn't bad. It was very, very refreshing. I would definitely recommend it for a hot day. You know, if you're having people over or having a garden party or something or you're chilling by the pool, make it. It's nice. It's just, I don't know if I'd use peach snaps again. Peach snaps, I was like, uh, maybe like I'd maybe use some rum, but then I'm worried it would be too much like a mojito. Also, I think it could have done with a teeny bit more mint. So I think if I was to make it again, instead of using water, I would use maybe a mint tea. Just, you know, to up the mintiness, because I really like mint. Anyway, I've been trying out some new things. I did my vlog a couple of weeks ago. I'm doing this. So let me know if you're enjoying these. I might do a few more. If not, I'll probably make a few more because I'm enjoying doing them. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Instagram at Lady Jessica Riddell. Until next time. Bye.